Hi there, and welcome to your 2015 RPOD 179. We're just going to start off in the back bumper at the back of the trailer here. You're going to find your standard 30 amp connection. Just take note of that ear there. It lines up with that ear there. You can just put that in, give it that eighth turn. You'll follow that back to your standard 30 amp end. Most campsites should have this. If you don't have this at your campsite we do include a 15 amp park adapter that 15 amp park adapter is also for when you're at home wanting to plug in to run that fridge just keep in mind that you are going down to 15 amps so you can't run something like your ac uh, you got your cable satellite inlets uh, fridge vents those are just service ports uh, right here you have your gray tank uh, empty just take notes note of that ear there you give give this a turn that'll pop off your sewer hose will connect to there. You lock it back down. Uh, that's your gray valve. Your low point drain is also right next to that. Those two little spouts there. So if you're leaving the unit for a while, you don't want the water in the lines to go stagnant, you can empty those out. Uh, right here is your black tank drain. drain. So you're always going to want to empty your black tank first because it's going to be your dirtiest water. It works the same way as your gray tank does. Uh, again, more low point drains here, and also your fresh water drain right next to that. Uh, right up from there is your you have your city water connection. So if you're at a site with service, you can just plug a garden hose up into here, pressurizes the lines, no need to run your water pump. If you are out boondocking or don't have a site with water, this is your fresh tank fill. Just fill that up. And that's what your water pump draws off of. And right next to that, you do have your hot water uh, heater. So you just hit that valve. Whenever you go to fire up your hot water heater, always just come here and give that valve a little pull. That shot of water should come out, just letting you know the tank's full and you're not going to burn out any elements turning it on. I'm going to go over a reset procedure inside. The button I refer to is just right here. Uh, at the front of the unit here, you do have your battery inside this box here. And under here is your propane tank. This propane tank is just like your barbecue at home. You just got a valve on the top. You open that up. Turns on your propane to the unit. Inside here, you just got your uh, storage compartment. Uh, two standard household plugins there. Uh, exterior speakers on this side, your door. Uh, at the back of the unit, this is where your spare tire is. And we'll also go over the jacks. At each corner of the unit, you do have a stabilizer jack. To run that stabilizer jack, there's a bar inside that front compartment. You just run these to the ground, give it another quarter turn to snug it up, and then it'll just take any sort of sway you see it's in the unit right now. You get inside the unit, you just take your assist handle, push it up, hold it 90 degrees, pull your stairs out, you can open your door, allows you to come inside. You take up, step on inside, and on the left is just a fire extinguisher. All the lights in the unit are on their own little push buttons. Turn the slide you run the slide out, the button is just right here on the wall. Hit that out. It's going to start making its way out. When you hear the slide out motors quit, that's when you know you're fully extended. Uh, here you just have your, you have your stove. That's just standard, you know, you turn it over to light, hit it with a lighter, it should light right up. Uh, you got a sink, hot and cold water. Here's your main GFI outlet here. So you got test on the bottom, reset on the top. If you ever have an outlet that doesn't work, always make sure you just hit that reset button to make sure it's not that. Below your slide out button, you do have your uh, control center. So... This is your modern panel, you got your gray tank, your black tank, your fresh tank, and your battery. 
it goes empty a third two-thirds and full and then for the battery it goes low fair good and charging uh on your right you have your water pump switch you hit that turn that on turns on your water pump drawing from your fresh water tank right next to that you do have your water heater so you're going to hit that switch this dsi fault light is going to come on the water heater is going to try doing it's doing uh its starting sequence it's going to try doing that three times on the third try it doesn't light this this is going to stay lit this little red light is going to stay lit and at that point well it went out so it fired up so at that point if that light stays on you just got to go out there hit that little black button come back in here try turning it back on uh to the left here you just have your uh thermostat so you hit that button one time it's going to turn you into fan now that's just going to be moving air with your ac unit your ac unit up there you hit hit that button again it's going to come down into cool now you're going to start the cooling feature of the ac unit that's going to start cooling the air it puts out then you hit that button one more time and it's going to go to furnace it's going to fire up your heater which is just down here so i do recommend getting a fan because it just blows its air out of here. So you get a little fan to put back there to try and move the air through the unit a little bit. Inside the bathroom, the light switch is just on the left of the door. You just got your standard. You get your toilet, flushers on the back right here. And then you have your shower head. Turn on some more lights. So right here you do you do have your stereo that's just like home you got your power button uh your speakers a b and c c isn't actually hooked up to anything it's just a and b a is interior speakers b is exterior speakers uh and then to your on the other side of that wall you do have your tv and up from that you have your coax cables which hook up already to your stereo your plug-in and then your cable satellite inlet with the cable with the satellite button just be on the right there turning on that red light that turns on the satellite on the roof which will also give you better radio frequency you pick up the bed here this is where you get access to your hot water heater you just see that each each board there has a has a screw in each corner take those screws out that board will lift up it gives you access to your water heater and your water pump for winterizing if you would like to do that yourself uh these little cushions here just sit on the edge of the dinette making it a little extra seating spot you do have your table here which just goes onto the ground but just for bringing the slide out in you're always going to want to make sure that table's out of the way and these cushions are out of the way that's about it for this unit here if you have any questions feel free to give us a call